Right now, I'm appreciating the good listeners. I'm appreciating Kabish, who has his hands folded and his eyes are on the speaker. Good job, Kabish. This is how the days always begin in Marianne Mitchler's grade four class at Oakenwald School. Before anyone starts speaking in front of their peers, they need to turn on this funky silver necklace. The necklace is actually a specially designed microphone which allows every word to be broadcast through high-tech speakers around the room. Victor, who gave a presentation to his classmates about ostriches, says the audio system actually gives him a boost of confidence. If I don't have it, I'm not sure if everybody could hear me and then I'm not sure if they're listening, but if everybody could hear me when I'm using that, then I speak up a little more because I know that they're listening. The system is called Front Row to Go and every classroom at Oakenwald School is using it as part of a Pemina Trail School Division pilot project. But it's not just a simple speaker and microphone setup. The audio field system is designed to broadcast at a frequency that young brains are more receptive to. No one quite knows the reason. One student who is basking in the newly amplified sounds is Sydney Stephenson. Born with a hearing impairment, she's been wearing bilateral hearing aids since she was two and a half. And she used to have to carry around a personal speaker system that attached to her hearing aid so she could hear her teachers. But with Front Row to Go, she not only hears her teachers, she now hears her classmates, background noise, and everything else in the room. It doesn't make me feel a bit lonely because I have everyone's using the same stuff and it's not just me using the personal thing. So. It has made Sydney a part of the class. Um, when she used to have her personal FM system, she would come in and have a routine that she did individually. She'd have an EA help her do this, and um, now she just comes in, just like everyone else, hangs up her coat, sits down, and gets ready to work. But studies have shown a system like this doesn't just benefit students in the class with hearing loss, it benefits every single child. About 40 to 60 percent of the day is spent listening and talking, and what this system does it allows the students in any part of the room to hear equally. So the studies show that about 85% of the message is heard at the front of the room, but only 55% in the back of the room. And this allows every student to hear that message. But it's not just about hearing the message. It's also about every student being heard, too. They've reacted very positively. It's been a very positive experience. They're enthusiastic about using the mic. Uh, every child has a voice. No matter how quietly they speak, they can be heard in the classroom. Hands up if anyone would like to start and share a little bit about their experience. Kara. For Shaw TV, I'm Kim Babbage.